Hello everybody, welcome back to another Dynamic Ship Simulator 3 ship review. In this video, I will be reviewing the Severn class and Watson class lifeboats. We're going to start off with the Severn class and then go to the Watson class. So let's do that. The Severn class lifeboat goes 19.8 knots when it's not upgraded at all. And it costs 125,000 credits, I believe. I already bought this boat, obviously. And I forget how much it costs, but I'm like 99% sure with 125,000. So let's head into it. This is kind of like what it looks like on the back. You can see the sides. It's a very detailed boat. And I really like this one. Uh, you can go all the way around where you start at the back. You can go to, all the way around to the front area, which is very nice. This is obviously where the captain would look out over the ship. So, uh, yeah, there's some storage containers right here and this cr little crane, which I assume would hook up to this little lifeboat and then drop it into the water so it could be used as a uh, just a smaller little vessel for other rescues if it's too, if you can't get this other, or the main boat into like a area that needs to be. Up here, this is the first boat's ever had this, and it's so cool that you can do that you can do this now. You can actually control the boat from up here, as well as in from the main area, but it's so cool that you can actually control it from all the way up here now. I really like it. So I'm just back it up again. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for the outside, but if you head inside, you can see there's when you enter there's this little seating area there's two seats on either side or one seat on either side of the door so a total of two seats there and then another two seats that you can set right here on like this little booth area there's this little hatch that goes down to the below to the decks below but you can't go into it unfortunately and then there's just some more control panels around here some lights looks very very nice and then when you come in here this is the bridge you have one seat on this side, and then two seats on this side. One seat up here, one seat over there. And then the captain's seat, which is right here. Unfortunately, you can't really see out the windows too good. But, I mean, no one really drives in, in first person, so it's fine. This is what the horn sounds like. So it's a brand new horn that you've never heard before. It's very nice. Uh, obviously, the lights are on right now. When you turn them off, the windows will go dark. And I love that they're doing this with the lights, because... Um, I know all the boats they didn't used to have all these like the windows and used to light up and I really like that they were doing it. It's just an extra detail that makes it look very nice. There's also when the lights are on these lights up here as well as um, like right here these spotlights and then these ones back here the red ones you can see when I turn the lights off those turn off as well. The navigational lights, port, starboard, white light and then the spinning radar which is pretty cool I like that. I know most ships have it but it still looks good. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the interior of the Southern Class lifeboat. But it does look very, very nice. And I really like it. Alright, now we're going to move on to the Watson Class lifeboat. Which is obviously an older vessel, but it still is very detailed and it looks very, very nice. Obviously it's dark right now, so it is kind of hard to see. There are no navigation lights on this boat, due to it being kind of old. But it looks very, very nice. There's a little fire axe right there, lifesaver. This thing, I believe, once again, I believe, because I forget how much it costs since I can't check it, it costs 75,000 credits, to my best knowledge, and it goes 9.8 knots when it's not upgraded at all. Um, this is what the horn sounds like. So it actually, it sounds like the when you deploy the lifeboat at one of the lifeboat, at the lifeboat station at Port Ushuia. I, I know I messed that name up. I don't know how to pronounce it, um, but that's what it sounds like. Um, and there is this little area back here, which it's kind of hard to get into, but you can there. So it has some seats that you can't sit in, some rope. It's honestly really cool that they still put this little area in here. You can't really get out this way or in, so you have to go out the window way. But I guess you just kind of teleport into here. Once you get in the cabin seat, you teleport into it. Um, I mean, yeah, there's not really much on this ship to see but it's still I really like this boat it's it's small it's nice it doesn't mean it needs to be in this game but I really like that it is because I don't know I just really think it's a really nice ship and so yeah that's gonna be it for today's review thank you guys so much for watching until next time I'll see you guys all later bye